Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey welcome, I hope you'll consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with, believe it or not, a sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. This is itty bitty and adorable. <laughs> and you guys, there's something in here that honestly, I don't even know all the full details of yet. I just know that it's something that is, I would say brand new to Diamond Art Club, but I think in a way it's actually making a little bit of a return, but it's also new. So um, let's just get into it and find out what is in here. I am so excited when they reached out to me and said, hey, we're going to be launching and releasing these new things. Would you like to sneak peek us at? I was like, sure, twist my arm. <laughs> so what we have in here, is it going to show right here? <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh, look how cute those are. You guys, greeting cards. We have greeting cards. Now, Diamond Art Club, I think a couple years back, actually I know a couple years back, had some greeting cards. I think they were holiday themed, uh, but they have been gone for a while. <laughs> and now we're getting more greeting cards. And I think, I'm not sure if there are multiple different sets and multiple different themes, but this one says fantasy sets. This leads me to believe that maybe there are going to be some other different themed sets out there. So, okay, looks like our size is gonna be six by six inches or 15 by 15 centimeters. Here's all their branding, Well, super sparkly packaging. Looks like these are the three images that are gonna be inside. How perfect will this be for little ones? And I mean, heck, I'm gonna have lots of fun with this too. Who are we kidding? So here's what's included. Uh, DIY diamond card kit content. So three cards, three envelopes, color-coded diamonds. Uh, looks like some toolkits, pens and grippies, wax pads and trays. So quick, easy and fun. Not your ordinary card. There's their socials. Let's see if there's any other, any other stuff to know. And you saw that this shipped in a bubble mailer. I don't know if that's how they're going to ship for everyone or if that was just for the sneak peek, but let's see what's inside here. Okay. So, you guys, I love new things. This is so fun. Thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this over for me to share with you guys. Um, I am so excited for this. Now, I believe that these are releasing tomorrow, which is Monday, August 29th. Yes, I have that date right. I do not have a concrete time for you guys. Sometimes with these special releases, sometimes we'll see those releases go live at different times, but it may go live at 9 a.m. Um, I'm not sure if Diamond Art Club is actually going to put up a preview of these on their social media um, today, which is Sunday, uh, at least if this video goes up when I'm intending for it to go up. But we're just going to wait and see, OK? Uh, I'll try to update the description with the most up to date info. So feel free to check down there as well. So we did get a toolkit um, and we have a pen. We have a whole bunch of baggies. So when you cut into the diamond packs, you can use the baggies to store the diamonds in, which is really convenient. Let me tuck this back in here so I don't lose them, but they don't go everywhere. And they did, they included a pen and a squishy and a plate of pink heart wax. Look, we even get a little skinny multi-placer if you want to place more than one diamond at a time on these on these cards. So that's really nice. By the way, um, on this plate of pink heart wax, there's a thin plastic cover. There, there you can see it. Uh, you want to make sure to peel that back before you try to load up your pen with the wax. So you can use the squishy. You can pop that on here as well to make it more comfortable to use. And then we have a clear plastic tray. So we'll keep all the toolkit contents together. It looks like this is one of the like older versions of the toolkits as far as the bag goes, but that kind of, I don't know, that kind of makes sense for what this particular kind of kit, this set of cards is. So here we've got our cards themselves, and then here we have the diamonds, and each of the diamond sets are labeled with, it's a fantasy set one, I choose to be a unicorn, fantasy set two, undersea friends, fantasy set three, unicorns and rainbows, and these are all round diamonds. Let's look at the cards themselves and then we'll look at some of the colors and the diamonds and see how many colors we have. So it looks like they came tucked in these envelopes. These have this really pretty like 
pearl finish. That's so pretty. Now I will note because I'm a total nerd and of course I would think of this. Um, if you're in the US at least, um, square shaped envelopes are more expensive to send. Like you can't just slap a one stamp on them. Um, they, if you actually are going to put this in the mail and try to mail it, um, you're not only going to need extra postage because of the shape of the envelope, but also because of the weight, like this is heavier. And especially once diamonds are on, it might be kind of thick. So if I'm going to actually mail this, I'm taking it to my post office to see, <gasps> look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it looks like this is basically a partial as far as diamond paintings go. So parts of it are printed and there are gonna be no diamonds, but then obviously the places where you see symbols is where we're gonna place diamonds and that's the only spot the glue is going to be. Uh, there's a plastic cover on here so we'll be able to peel it back to work on these sections and yeah, there's the poured glue there. And then you flip it open and it, it oh, it's blank inside, okay. So you can write a message. You can make it a birthday card or a just because card or anything. Well, that's a cute back too. The back is even on theme and they've got their branding at the bottom as well. That's adorable. This would be such a cute card to either give to a kid <laughs> for like a birthday celebration or something or to have like one of your kids do for someone else. Oh my gosh, look, you know that there's lots of kids and adults out here that love all things mermaid. This is so cute. So once again, this one is a partial. Ooh, are we gonna have some special drills on this one? These spaces that look bigger than the others. So cute. And of course the back is on theme as well. She's adorable. Now, of course you're gonna notice because this is a card, it's not a canvas. We're not gonna have like a legend printed. Um, I'll, I'll show you when we're looking at the diamonds. I think that it's just gonna be the diamonds, the bags the diamonds are in, are gonna be numbered like just one through, you know, in this case, like one through, I see number nine, oh, 10. So probably numbers one through 10. And this one, you know, numbers one through eight. So that's probably how it's just gonna be numbered. That, that often is the case with partial diamond painting kits like this one. I choose to be a unicorn. Look at that llama corn, llama corn. Oh my gosh, I know there are people out here that love llama corns too and think that is so fun. Oh my gosh, it's so cute with the rainbow horn and I love it. I love it. I love that some of it is printed again and some of it is uh, glue. So I have seen some people share tricks for how to, oops, how to kind of like seal over like in on partial diamond paintings like this, how to make sure that any glue that goes past where the diamonds are doesn't get like dirt or dust in it. I think that maybe you could do like a layer of like clear nail polish. Do some people say that they use like some kind of powder, but I haven't tested that. So please, 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 please don't take me just at my word on that. But I think that there are ways that you can um, just lightly seal any glue that's not covered up by diamonds, especially on a card that you're gonna send out. You don't want it to get dirt or dust in in those areas. But you guys, look at these three cards. How cute are these? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me show you the diamonds. So here's fantasy set one. I choose to be a unicorn. So obviously going to go with our llama corn over here. Uh, it looks like there are nine colors in total on that llama corn. One of the colors, like number nine, there's literally two, <laughs> two of that symbol on that on that kit. So here, we're gonna open up these diamonds. Obviously there's not a lot, but I, I like that Diamond Art Club went ahead and packaged it the way that they usually do their diamonds. So it's really easy to know exactly which these go with. Um, and yes, so here's what they've done. Interestingly enough, it's not in numerical order. It's in order of how many there are the most of, I think, to how many there are the least of, ish ish, <laughs> uh, which is totally fine. So we have the most of this number one. So while there's not a, there's no DMC code on here, it's just the number one, number one, number one, super easy, right? Number three is this gray color, gonna match up with this gray color. Oh yeah, here's that number four down here. There's two of that dark gray. <laughs> number two, you know, you find the symbol number two, that's where it's gonna go. So again, these diamonds do not have DMC codes attached to them. 
So if you were going to save them, you'd probably need to just try to color match them with uh, diamonds that you already have in your spare drill storage. But this is such a small amount, I don't know. I don't know if you necessarily want to try to save these, but that is how these diamonds are working. It is a little bit different than how we've seen some of other, um, how we see most of Diamond Art Club's kits, how they do their their diamonds most of the time, um, the rest of the time rather. <laughs> these uh, drill packages have the DMC number on them. But again, when you're talking about something really small, uh, like greeting cards, you can probably sit down and do these in one sitting. Um, hopefully you can just like cut into one bag at a time and be like okay now i've placed all of the number one and now i can just put that color into a ziploc bag uh and now i've placed all of the number two now i can place that color in a ziploc bag uh, so this set is for undersea friends right here our mermaid friend and i really want to see the special drills that are in here so there we go. I'm going to show these right away. <laughs> Look at those pretty iridescent pearl beads. Oh my gosh, those are so pretty. So they gave us six of them and there are one, two, three, four, five. There's exactly six on here. So make sure you don't lose any of these. I don't know if they'll usually provide the exact amount or if sometimes they'll give you an extra or two, but just FYI, mine came with the exact amount needed. I'm curious, I did want to poke through each of these colors and see if we had any ABs. This is the same system though. There's just numbers one through nine here in this strand and you'll just match it up with the symbol on your little card. So like number one is her skin, number two is, or three is her cheekies. And then, yeah, so you can see this has a lot of really pretty pale pastels. And this is extremely, extremely kid friendly, whether you're sending it to a kid or <laughs> giving it to a kiddo to work on as well. Obviously the designs are very, very kid friendly too. But yeah, I wanted to look at each of these colors and see like, do we have any ABs? Like that would be really fun. If not, it's completely fine. I just am curious, I'm like, what's gonna be in these? So this last set, Unicorn and Rainbows, is our last friend over here. All these fun colors that certainly looks like Diamond Art Club has given us more than enough of every single color. <laughs> So you're not gonna run out. So if you've got a little one working on one of these and they have, they, they spill or something, you should have plenty. Yeah, plenty, plenty, plenty of diamonds for sure. So um, lots of really fun colors. <laughs> this is so much fun. I love it. I love that greeting cards are back and I'm dying to see, again, it says fantasy set on these on these packages. It says fantasy set on the box. I'm like, okay, the vibe you're giving me is that um, there are going to be more sets and more themes. So I am not 100% sure if there are going to be more themes. And if there are, I don't know if they're also releasing tomorrow or if it's just this particular set. I would definitely recommend following Diamond Art Club's social media accounts, and that is probably the best way to find out. But also keep an eye on the website because sometimes they'll sneakily drop releases like these. Um, so keep an eye on the website. If you've already made a purchase from Diamond Art Club, be sure to join their VIP group on Facebook. Um, Diamond Art Club tends to post a lot of insider info and behind the scenes info there. and. Also, the people in that group, they don't miss a thing. So <laughs> the second that these go live on the website, I'm sure someone there is gonna notice and point it out as well. Uh, so I will link to that group below and you can join, like I said, once, you, once you've made your first purchase. Um, but anyway, hooray for new things from Diamond Art Club. So this was the fantasy set of Diamond Art cards and um, it came with the toolkit, it came with all the diamonds. Uh, these are basically like little 
partial diamond paintings here on the front. Um, and I, I would recommend probably trying to sit down and kind of do it in one sitting. But I appreciate that they gave us enough of these little plastic storage baggies. Like they gave us a ton, like more than I usually see in toolkits. And I wonder if that was a deliberate choice on their part so that you can easily store these diamonds after or while you're working on these. Um, I appreciate that. It seems like it was <laughs> deliberately uh, and well thought out. So uh, I believe that these will be released tomorrow. To my knowledge, from what I've been told, they're scheduled to be released tomorrow, which is Monday, August 29th. I would say that 9 a.m. Pacific time is a decent guess for when they're gonna go live. But like I said, smaller and special releases like this sometimes do get released at um, odd hours. So check in and also I will try to update the description box below with the most up-to-date info once I have that as well. So thanks Simon Art Club for sending this over for me to sneak peek with you guys ahead of the official release. I will be stalking that website and waiting with bated breath to see if we have even more series releasing. These are so cute. I'm totally going to give these to my kids to work on and try to get them like into diamond painting too. So uh, you guys, let me know if you have any questions. I will do my very, very best to answer to the best of my knowledge. Uh, but yeah, be sure to keep an eye out for these. Let me know if you'll be looking and picking up a set for yourself or for a friend or loved one. And let's let's see what else Diamond Art Club has in store. They've always got new stuff up their sleeve. So anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and fun. If it was, would you please give this video a thumbs up before you head out? That always really, really helps me. And also, I would really love if you subscribed to my channel so that you can continue to see more diamond con painting content for me, including future sneak peeks from Diamond Art Club and whatnot. Um, you can also even hit the bell, which will send you notifications when I post new videos. So thank you guys so, so much for being here. Thanks again to Diamond Art Club for sending this over. I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing week and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.